Cool. It's really fun. It's really, it's really fun to watch a Mewtwo play. Whoa, whoa. Do we got? Do we got? Do you gonna? You gonna? Oh, oh, oh. Don't say his name. Uh, the the man with no name, who is sitting with me as if he is on commentary, though he has not picked up the headset. Though this looks real. Um. I'm sure Spartacus knows it. This matchup is super Mart favored. Due to the fact that Mewtwo is just happens to be a, a low mid tier, which among the high tiers, Marth is one of the better ones. You gonna you gonna say some words there? No, I don't know any, anything about this. You don't know you can you can say the fuck words, you know. Oh. Oh dang. You guys you guys curse? Uh, I don't ask for your mom. Your mom I, lets you curse? Uh, no. Dude, my mom doesn't let me curse. My mom does not watch Hitbox. Oh, <laughs> sweet. My my mom would be uh, hecka disappointed that I say the fuck words, but she's not here. But that's a little secret between well, you, me, and all of them. Well, now that well now that you're here, I can uh, I can talk to you about this matchup. So uh, Mewtwo, super super not favored here. Because aside from the fact that he has a limited kit being a low tier and Marth has a much bigger kit being a high tier, uh, Mewtwo's tail is actually a hurt box for the in for any and all of his moves. Anytime that you see the tail, he can get hit by it. Oh. Yeah. So there's a lot more of him to tipper. And you'll notice when he shields that his shield just pretty much always leaves his tail exposed. Dang. No, right? This game is perfect. Uh, I didn't even. I thought this was Project M whenever I first came over here. That's the only reason I thought. Because I saw Mewtwo, I was just like, oh, it must be Project M. Oh yeah. No, this guy's crazy enough to to go for it. Well, there are there are actual actual Mewtwo players in melee. Oh, but, like the Mewtwo King. Uh, I was actually thinking of Taj, but you know. No, but Soth also plays Mewtwo. Soth's Mewtwo in melee. Well, but. Well, but as far as those people go, like every character in the game has enough of a kit that you can just like play play some sort of melee, and like Mewtwo still has some really great movement and some really big good hitboxes. It's just the extra liability of his shield not being great and him and his up beam putting him into helpless every time he uses it. So he has limited ways to get in. The fact that he's just kind of super slow. But actually, if you going from Project M Mewtwo to Melee Mewtwo, a lot of his a lot of his like good hitboxes and good punish game things are still the same, with the difference being his movement and his access to them. But we kind of see here that Spartacus is just kind of playing melee, just using good spacing, good awareness of space, trying to trying to not give Marth the entire stage to run around with, and he's doing fine. But. I always describe it of just like low tier mains have to try harder than high tier mains do to be to be good and do well. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. As you you also might have noticed that uh, his F smash being one of his better one of his better options because it's so big in PM has an enormous Roy zone. Um, excuse me. Can I ask what is a Roy zone for all of those in the audience that don't oh, know what that well, is? Well, for those in the audience not know, <laughs> that's you. Oh no, no, well, it's gone. No, well, it's called a Roy zone. Because the character of Roy has a really, really large kind of blind spot in his F smash, where it's between like kind of the front edge of, edge of a sword in his body, where if your opponent is there and you F smash them, they don't get hit. Huh. Yeah, it's just a spot of the move that is not a hitbox. And with Mewtwo's, you see he kind of puts his arms forward and he has the purple spot. The purple spot is the hitbox, and there's the great spot of kind of blank space between his hand and the purple thing, and you don't get hit if you're in that. That's really garbage. Yeah, um, how dare you? This game is perfect. That's really garbage. Why would anyone play Mewtwo ever? Um, well, because he wants to. That's the only explanation. <laughs> well. Though I do have to note that he's using one of the one of the better Mewtwo skins. See, see, he he tried to do a he tried to do a PM thing there. He tried to he tried to do the B reverse Shadow Ball and to turn around Edge Guard. But oh. uh, Mewtwo's pretty slow in this game. Ooh. So even if you shield cancel the, the Shadow Ball, it's still a good second or two before you can turn around. Dang. Mm -hmm. That SD. Really kind of painful. Wait. He, he got he got caught. That's what he did. So, FD. No platforms to run around on. There is a lot of space for Marth to run around, but Marth not having a projectile is even against a bad projectile like Mewtwo's Shadow Ball, is still at a disadvantage if he wants to just camp. 
Because if he wants to here, if if Picklestein wants to just sit in neutral for 10 years, Spartacus can just hawk Shadow Balls at him. And unless Picklestein has the wherewithal and the skill to power shield every single one, then he's going to get hit eventually. And if he wants to sit here for eight minutes, then Spartacus, I'm sure, is willing to. Oh, yeah, he was winning. Yeah. Just make for a really lame match. Oh, yeah. But we also see on this stage that Mewtwo's going to have a going to have a lot easier time getting follow-ups vertically because there's not because there's not platforms to hide underneath and or, or platforms to tech onto if he, if he throws you up. And so that translates to this being a decent Mewtwo stage both in melee and PM. Just because there's no shenanigans to deal with. And particularly in melee where Mewtwo loses access to all his weird teleport shenanigans from PM, this is kind of just where he wants to be because he can't really benefit from platforms in this game. Oh, he wanted to disable him. I saw it. I saw it start up. Oh, really? Mm hmm. This should be up to a kill percent. Cheeky bitch. Yep. See, he's used to he's used to it being a lot faster in PM, where it's good, where it's good for uh, finishing combos if they're DIing out. Huh. See, random teleports just aren't safe because you always go into special fall. Oh, whoa! That was cool. Yep. He really wanted to. If, uh, he really wanted to like top shadow ball. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, another thing that we can see Spartacus trying to do is teleport on the ground, because in PM, in PM it's sort of like L-canceling where you don't have imp lag. Not so in melee. Ooh. Because aside from just having a limited kit according to melee, he also has a limited kit according to PM Mewtwo. Uh, mm -hmm. so, you know what? But you gotta respect. You gotta respect our low-tier heroes. Oh, yeah. Our, our low-tier heroes, or low heroes as it were. Because everybody knows. Oh, yeah. Tears are for queens. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Why would you play Fox like me? Fox? Come on. Get see, with the program. See, we saw it. You rolled through the Roy Zone there. Enter the Roy Zone. Get with the program. Jigglypuff is top tier. You know, I know. You know I've talked to a lot of people who think that because HBox wins games of Melee that Jigglypuff is top tier. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, you know, and Peach isn't even top tier. Oh, re really? Oh, I guess top tier. But isn't top tier just Fox? Well, that's SS tier. S tier, it, it's changed over the years. I believe right now, S tier, S tier, not S, SS tier is Fox, just Fox. S tier, I believe, would be Falco, Sheik, Marth. Huh. And then there's Peach, Jigglypuff, the rest of the ones that are actually playable. Interesting. Uh, but it's the sort of thing of like, Playing a playstyle that's very, that's sort of can't be very patient and reliant on neutral, is Puff really, really does well. And the reason that Hungrybox wins so often is because he just kicks the shit out of everyone he plays. And it's also the reason if you've ever watched Hungrybox's stream and you've seen his mess, he just plays melee. Oh. And Rest is probably the second best punish in the game, behind Wobbling. Oh man, Wobbling. You should really get that ban. Yeah, I. See, Jig see, the Ice Climbers, even with Wobbling, aren't a good character. I gotta disagree with you there. Do ya? Have you seen their costumes? No. Aren't they just adorable? No. Isn't this just some top-level commentary? Uh, I've done worse. Oh. I've done worse. I know, you want to talk about anime and ignore this entirely? Not really. <laughs> we can do that. No. You've been watching Dragon Maid? This is anime. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh my god. This is it. Yeah, this is exactly what happened in season two of the Pokemon anime. <laughs> Fucking Mewtwo started farting. Farting? <laughs> okay, but like, but like the character Mewtwo from Pokemon the first movie would fist fight somebody. <laughs> He's fist fighting Mark. <laughs> no, it's like if Mewtwo, if he did not decide to align to Pokemon trainer rules, would have just challenged Ash to a fist fight. I mean, I don't know why. Or, yeah, I don't know he's why. Like, not. He's technically a Pokemon. He's like, he's hey, Ash, just everybody. hey, Ash, I have kidnapped several people. Come to my house and fight me. Yeah, he's just like, you know what? I'm better at this than you are. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I think that Mewtwo's prob probably handle himself in a fight. <laughs> hey, we don't talk about that. <laughs> he's so bad. Hey, man, we don't talk about that. I mean, okay, I... Okay, so to get back to the game, Ficklestein's doing fine. Oh, yeah, he's got... Oh yeah, pretty good. Pretty good odds. He's, I've well, I've been watching and not taking and kind of not not talking about it. Is he's been really taking advantage of the fact that he's got better movement than Mewtwo, kind of weaving his way in and out of neutral, making Mewtwo commit to his super slow and bad options. Because Marth having good movement has the, also has the luxury of you know like bluffing. 
and misleading movement. And a character that is as slow as Mewtwo doesn't really have the op. You can't really do that. It's like you can whiff moves too far away for them to hit, but you're not really fast enough to capitalize on anything. Is that it? No, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, once, once Spartacus is done playing, he knows he knows what all the gear is, and he can probably fi like find you a list to write you up on. Talking about stream stuff. Getting a stream, buying a stream. So, Spartacus can definitely still do this. I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe that we will win. Here we go. Because I believe that, in general, he he is a better player than Picklestein, but he is definitely worse at melee. So, that's Picklestein. 2-0 over Spartacus. See you losers. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.